What's going on everyone? Vince here with Life with Vince. And look what came in the mail this weekend. A new pair of running shoes. And you know I had to get Nike. Would I get any other running shoes? Probably not. I always window shop, but I always get Nike at the end of the day. And these are here just in time for my 50 miler that is 100% happening in two weeks. On Saturday, November 14th, my 50 miler is going down. But before I review what shoes I got, I wanted to give you all an update on my 50 miler and my 100 miler. So my 50 miler is for sure happening in two weeks and my 100 miler is also for sure happening the second week of December. And I am definitely a little bit nervous, probably a lot of bit nervous for at least a 100 miler. The 50 miler probably won't be that bad because last time I did the 50 miler, it really wasn't that bad. But the 100 miler was the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life. And I haven't been able to train as much as I wanted to the past two or three months. So that's why I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, two or two and a half months ago, I couldn't run outside because of the Northern California fires. And then about three weeks ago, I started to run again and I felt this twinge in my knee. The good news is, is that once I switched from my over mileage shoes to a newer pair of shoes, the twinge of my knee disappeared. So an update on my injury as well. The injury pretty much went away. I was able to run a half marathon today with no issues. And the only reason why I didn't run further today is because it got dark really fast because of the daylight savings. So I should have run a little bit earlier in the day, but I was so busy with work and everything else. I ran when I could. And once I got to that half marathon mark, I was like, oh, it is pretty dark outside. So. That's my update in terms of my injury. Injury is good to go or not good to go. It's pretty much gone and it was definitely from the shoes. So I'm excited to have these new pair of shoes for my 50 miler and my 100 miler because my current pair of shoes, I'm running in Nike Peg 37s. They don't have that many miles in on them, but I don't like wearing them all the time because they are a little bit tight in my forefoot. And now to reveal what pair of shoes I got. I ended up getting the Nike React Milers. These are my second pair of Nike React Milers. I love my first pair so much that I had to get a second pair. And this was my first choice. And I was going to get the Nike React Milers anyways. I was actually waiting for the price to go down. And luckily the price went down. So these are usually $130. First of all, they had a 40% off. So I think it was like 70 something. Plus I had an additional 20% off coupon. Plus I had an additional $25 gift card that I won from Kick It With Dang's raffle. And then I also had credit card points. So I actually got these for free. The thing is, is that these are really, really white. And I know that I will not be able to keep these clean just because my normal route anyways is gravel and a lot of dirt. But at the same time, I don't really care to keep them clean because I just want to use these to keep me injury free and to put in those miles. So I am so excited for these because I will be injury free running in them. And I would go as far as to say that these are my favorite pair of running shoes ever. After these wear out, I'll probably get another pair and then another pair after that and another pair after that. I should probably just stock up on them when they go on sale because once the colors run out on their website, once they dwindle down, they usually go on sale. So I'll probably stock up the next color that goes on sale because I really, really like this shoe and I've just had a really good experience with it. and. Why get another pair of shoes when I know these work so well? And I'm not going to make the mistake like last time. Last time I didn't track the mileage in these shoes. I tracked it for the first 100 to 200 miles, but then I was like, you know what, forget it. I don't want to track anymore. But with this pair, I'll definitely track the mileage so I know how many miles that these shoes can handle. And you might ask why I like these shoes so much. Number one, there is little to no heel slippage. When I wore the Nike Peg 37s, even when I use both eyelets, there is still a little bit of heel slippage. But with these shoes, there is little to none. They feel pretty snug on my ankles and my feet feel pretty secure. Number two, they just fit really well. With the Nike Peg 37s, they're a little bit tight on my forefoot. With these shoes, they're not tight at all and my foot just feels really comfy in them. The only negative about these shoes, and it's not that big of a negative, is that they are a little bit heavier. They feel a little bit fatter when you're wearing them, 
but I got used to them over time because they're just so comfy and they work so well. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed that video. Please let me know down below if you have any additional comments or questions for me. We'd love to hear from you all. Please give this video a thumbs up. It would really help me out. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing on this YouTube channel. I'll come out with daily content. Mondays, real estate. Tuesdays, Q&A. Wednesdays, live stream. Thursdays, miscellaneous. Fridays, jujitsu. Saturdays, review slash searchable videos. And Sunday, ultra running. If you want to catch another one of my videos, there's a video right here. And there's a video right here. See you all tomorrow.